Hello! Welcome to Captain Olimar's expedition on the distant planet. Yesterday, I arrived at my final trial. And as I cleared the way to the path ahead, I saw a gigantic bull boar, which respectfully named Emperor Bullblax. Now I've discovered a strategy on how to beat this thing, and as and if people are watching, they may frown upon me for doing so, but this was the way I have chosen to do. So we will take on this beast. Get my final part and return home. Alright. Rester Yellers. Who, who's over there? Oh. It appears we have a red Pikmin sprout here. Huh. I don't remember there being any swooping snitch bugs around uh, this these parts. Alright everyone, let's let's head out. Look at it. Just standing there. Separate our Pikmin. There is a lot of, uh... Grass over here. Like that. Oh. Not much. Is that everyone? Alright. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. There's so many... This is wasting a little bit of time, but... Power is efficient. And I want to take this thing down. Okay. I'll get back here. He didn't save some for Bob and his friend. Whatever. All right. Well, it looks like there were three that I didn't get. Jeez. Okay. This is fine. You will wait over here. 
the reds are going to wait right here. All right, come with me, Mr. Yellow. Attack him! Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. All right, come here, you big freak. Hungry, aren't you? Was that no? Actually, I don't want you. Okay. Whoop. There. That? Oh, whoa. Oh, come here. Where did you go? Whoa. Uh-oh. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little Pikmin, but it... Right, let's do what needs to be done. Going back. Oh. I think that should do it. Look at that. At long last, I found the final part. My secret safe. And it's as full as ever. How I'm glad I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up a few souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokutat. Pikmin lost in that bet. Could have been better. The strategy didn't fully uh, work. I didn't expect him to jump like that. I have finally recovered every ship part. I can now return home to Hokuta. My dolphin, restored in its full glory. How wonderful. Ah, it's the end of the day already, huh? Alrighty. Listen, you guys. Take care now, and try not to die. <sighs> I guess you guys are hopeless. It's time to return home. What's this? What are you doing after that bull board? Oh goodness! Very nice. All right. Perhaps I may have done so. What? I am glad to be returning home. It was nice on that planet for the time being. 
but all things must come to an end. So, let's check our analysis. <clears throat> so we recovered all 30 parts within 25 days. 249 Pikmin survived, and we've lost a total of 694 Pikmin. And all the Pikmin that I've sprouted, 1,251. Let's see. All my ship parts are back. And the parts I didn't need was the Nova Blaster, the Space Float, the Massage Machine, the UV Lamp, and the Secret Safe. It's been a wild ride. marks the official completion of our first stream play. <clears throat> Alright. Anyways. Like always, since uh, whoever will be seeing this uh will be on YouTube when I finally get a chance to upload all of this. Um, I'll see you in the next stream play. Who knows when that will be, but anyways, I hope you liked uh, the stream play. If you stuck around, very much appreciative. Um... You can give it some likes or not, but mostly if you're on YouTube, I just want you to ch check out my uh, Twitch channel, which is usually always in the description. I'm not really good at this whole promo thing, but <laughs> that's just how it works, I suppose. Um, Pikmin 2 will definitely be the next stream play. Uh... So, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll be seeing you again in Pikmin 2. Looks like, uh, it's about to end here. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna show this already. The, Armin, the Armored Cannon Beetle. This migrant lithopod has developed a stronger carapace. Oh, I didn't read that all. Ah, yes. The beady long legs. Waxy secretions from this creature's distinctive armored shell. Hmm. The bread bug. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. It didn't fool me. The burrowing snagrits. The bluish hue of its feathers distinguished it from burrowing snarrow. Yes. A candy pop bud. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution like the Pikmin themselves? It has many mysteries. It did prove quite useful. Dwarf Bull Bear. A bull bear at an early stage of development in its life cycle. This specimen appears to nearly fully developed. Oh, 
a dwarf bulborb. Although similar in appearance to bulborbs, these belong to a totally different species. Ah, who cannot forget the Emperor Bulblax? This massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. Ah, the very bane of my actually no, it's one it's a thing I hate though. A fiery blowhog. This creature expels a combustible phosphor that ignites at moderate temperatures. Ooh, never cared for those. A swooping snitch bug. This rare species uses its antenna as wings. I've never encountered that. But it's called a gulix. A watery gelatinous membrane protects this creature's nervous systems. The honey wisp. This creature collects nectar for the larvae waiting in its nest. Hmm. An iridescent flint beetle. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. A Mamuta. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for their decorative properties. Oh. I remember this. The pearly clam clam. Though beautiful, this Moloch's pearls are thin and fragile. A pellet posy. This sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. I remember that. A puff stool. Many consider this walk-in fungus a delicacy. Hmm, probably my bumbling friend Louie. A puffy blowhog. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses hydrogen to float. Who can not forget about these creatures? Cheergrubs. Males of this species are purple and have armored heads. Ooh, even worse. The sheer wigs. The males of this species are able to fly, but the females remained underground. Ooh. A smoky prog. Thought to be a malformed larval mamuta. A spotty bull bear. This rare subspecies of bull borb has a certain in I can't even read my own writing. And of course, a spotty bull borb. This nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals returning to their nests at night. A water dumble. This aquatic creature is a close re relative to the bullborb. Yeah, I've seen these things float around. A wog pole. This creature appears to be a newborn yellow wallywog in tadpole form. These are the bane of my existence. A wallywog. This creature's. Uh, coloration results from remaining sheltered in cavernous dwelling. These ones aren't so bad, but still, Wallywogs suck. After evolution led to the development of its specialized jumping ability, this amphibian actually lost much of its ability to swim. The end. The happy ending. Alright. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care now.